Welcome to part 3 of my series on integrals involving powers of trigonometric functions. In this video, we'll be looking at integrals of the form tangent of x to the power of m times secant of x to the power of n dx. How we compute this integral will depend on the powers m and n. We'll be looking at two specific cases. In the first case, m is an odd positive integer. If m is an odd positive integer, what we'll want to do is make the substitution u equals secant of x. A useful trig identity for us is going to be tangent squared of x is equal to secant squared of x minus 1. As an example, let's consider the integral of tangent of x to the third power times secant of x dx. We'll start by making the substitution u equals secant of x and taking the derivative here we get du is equal to secant of x times tangent of x dx. When we make this substitution we can replace one of the tangents secant and dx with du but that still leaves us with tangent squared. So making the substitution we have the integral of tangent squared of x du. This is where we'll use the trig identity. We'll rewrite tangent squared of x as secant squared of x minus 1 and then du. Substituting u equals secant of x we get the integral of u squared minus 1 du. The antiderivative here is 1 third u cubed minus u plus c and then finally we can rewrite this back in terms of x to get one-third secant cubed of x minus secant of x plus c. And that's our final answer. The next case that we're going to look at is when the power of secant is an even positive integer. What we'll want to do in this case is make the substitution u equals tangent of x. A useful trig identity here is secant squared of x is equal to tangent squared of x plus 1. Let's consider the example integral of tangent squared of x times secant to the fourth power of x dx. We'll start by making the substitution u equals tangent of x. Then taking the derivative, we get that du is equal to secant squared of x dx. Making the substitution, I can replace all of the tangents with u, and then a secant squared dx with du, but I'll still be left with an extra secant squared. So making the substitution, this becomes u squared times secant squared of x, and then du. What we can do here is use the trig identity to rewrite the secant squared of x as tangent squared of x plus 1. So this gives us the integral of u squared times tangent squared of x plus 1 du. From here, substituting u equals tangent of x, we get the integral of u squared times u squared plus 1 du. Distributing the u squared, we get the integral of u to the fourth power plus u squared du. Using the power rule, we get one fifth u to the fifth power plus one third u to the third power plus c. Then lastly, we write this back in terms of x to get one fifth tangent to the fifth power of x plus one third tangent to the third power of x plus c. And that's our antiderivative for tangent squared of x times secant to the fourth power of x. So we've now learned how to compute certain integrals involving powers of trig functions.